If you never ever learn anything from this channel, one thing that I want you to take with you and just keep it with every aspect in life is, no matter what you're going for, you have got to work as hard as your body will allow it. Countless and countless hours. Attack it with all your angles and all your might, all your heart, all your drive, all your passion, and you will get it, I promise you. If you can get it easy, honestly, how important was it to you? If you don't have to work for it, it's really not gonna have a lot of value, but if you gotta work hard every single day, blood, sweat, and tears, when you do reach it, I guarantee it's gonna be one of the most important things to you in your life, and you're gonna cherish it. It's gonna mean a lot of value to you. But like I tell you, I always work hard, never give up. Some days it's gonna be harder than others, but just keep pushing and you will find a way. Strength team, listen, today I felt real good. And as y'all all know, I'm like nine weeks post my uh, first ever bodybuilding show. And like I say, I lost a lot of strength. That is why if you're following any of my programs, you are seeing that you are getting stronger too because it's based off a power li uh, powerlifting program. So I'm getting stronger and where I start breaking it down and doing isolation after my heavy compound movements, I'm also building muscle. So I was just curious to see where my max is. Like when I was doing my bodybuilding show, like those last two weeks, my squat, it fell all the way off. Yeah, I built my, before I did the diet, my squat was well above 500 pounds. So I was kind of proud that as a natural athlete that I had a 500 pound squat. That is, that's very impressive at my weight. But now, since I'm like 50 pounds lighter, like I say, my strength has just been struggling. But I've been feeling stronger every single week. I'm staying on my diet. I'm staying with all the nutrition. I'm just staying hard, consistent training. So everything is going up, and I'm just starting to feel really good. So now I'm about nine, like I say, eight or nine weeks after my show, and I just decided to see what my max is on my squats. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Going into this, I was hoping my max would be around at least 390 to about 400 pounds. So I'm gonna show you all a lot of footage, and it's gonna be raw footage, but I want y'all to see it. But the two things that I am most happy about, not only did I get 405 pounds. That'll be all right. It moves so fast that I should have tried 455 pounds, but I didn't. So I did play it safe. I always play it safe when you're testing your one rep max because a lot of things can go wrong and it's only just a few that can go right. And then I just jumped it all the way up to 435 pounds. Come on, rep. Ah. Make sure I support you, sir. It's going up. It's going up. You ain't no pump. <laughs> and I got that for a smooth rep as well. So I know in the near future you will see me hit a couple PRs and I'm super happy about that because I'm way lighter, so it's gonna be a great PR. And uh, another thing that I'm proud about, I did 315 pounds, I was trying to do it for 10, but instead of doing that, I went ahead and did 335 pounds and I did it for one set for 10. 335 for 10, do it. And then after that, I did 335 pounds for 12 reps.
Why? That's insane. That's insane. All right, so it's 335 for 12. You do a three six five. Oh my God. Three six five for 10 next week. So this is why I'm telling you, if you stay consistent and you put your all in every session and stay strict on your diet, you will make all the gains that you set to yourself. You will actually surpass them in amount of time. And the, the, th the downfall being natural, it will take you a while, but the gains stick with you. That's why I'm bouncing back so fast because my body remembers it. And it's like muscle memory is like, oh, I remember that weight. I done done this before. So like I just always stress, just keep on striving. Just keep on, just keep on giving it your all. And I promise you, you will overcome it. You will run into some obstacles along the way, but that's life. We cannot fall down and stay down we cannot run into a brick wall and just start the brick wall we've got to find a way to either go around it or just go over it we've got to get over our obstacles but as always I just want to give you a little bit of motivation just let you know that you are stronger and way more powerful than you ever give yourself credit for push yourself to your potential and then push yourself even further there's no such thing as limits the only limits they lie in your brain and they lie to you but like I say make sure you like the video keep training hard keep doing your diet but at the end of the day keep getting them gains.